Okay, so last time in the workshop, I showed you what we do to take out the diff and rebuild the diff. Now, should have done this then, as I'm actually gonna put on some new knuckles. Now, these are the knuckles that you saw me make in the end of the last video. I didn't show you how I make them, but I will put a link in the description or two how I made another set previously. So yeah, so these knuckles are, are there. Um, so they're designed um, so I can run twin tie bars on them, but I've made them so you can use them on either side. Now on my truck now at the moment, the way they're set up, they're handed, the truck, um, the, the knuckles. So they can only go on one side. So it's got the twin tie bars on it. So that's what the bottom one, that's the top one. That's where the steering is connected. But because of that way it's set up, if I wanted to put this on that side of the truck, the tie bar wouldn't be supported on the top because it actually go upside down. So now I've made it so you can put it either way up. So let's get to take, taking that part off and putting a new one on. Uh, so I've got to take all the plant tree off again, all the spindle, pull all the half shafts out, pull all the steering off, take the little back bolt, uh, the dust ring off the back of it, and then take the king pins out and then lift that piece off. So here is the axle stripped down. So this part we call the champagne. And the idea is it's meant to look like a champagne glass, but <laughs> champagne glasses don't look like that in my book. They're quite long, thin things. This is more like a goblet. <laughs> yeah, so that is where the top king pin mounts into. So it's still got the bearing in there. And that is where the bottom race mounts into under there, which is this bearing down there. To get this piece out, so you undo the king pins, but also you have to take off this dust seal at the back, which tries to keep all the water and everything out of here. You can probably see where I've been jet washing it. It's got a bit of water in there, but it's we use a marine grease in there, so that doesn't mind that. So yeah, so just gonna have to tidy this all up and then we can put the new knuckle on it. Okay, sometimes things don't go to plan. Okay, so this is the, the new knuckle I've made and I made a mistake when making it. Now, it looks fairly even, but what I forgot to do, see on this one, it's got two washers on this side and none on that side. And what I've done on this one, I put a washer either side. So that washer should have been there. And what that does is it doesn't let the tie bars go in. So I've actually bolted it all up. I can get everything lined up. I got got the steering ram in there, got the first tie bar in there. When I get this one in, it hits the other tie bar. They're too close together here. Um, so I'll show you on the front what it looks like. So that's how close the tie bars run together. Now, there wasn't enough room in there. So what I'm doing is chopping it all apart again. So yeah, silly little mistake, but yeah, so what I've done, so I've put two in there at the minute just to space it up. So what I can do then, that gives me a nice 45 degree. So I can put a nice big weld all the way around because I've cut the top plate off now. It's still quite warm. Yeah, so I've cut that plate off. So then I can put a nice big weld all the way around it. So that's what I'm gonna do. After a lot of faffing about, it's all welded back together. So that was where the original weld was I've done when I made it, but I shortened it so I could actually have to bring it up a little bit. And then of course we put it on 45 degrees all the way around, chamfered all the edges, got loads and loads of penetration in there. That weld has turned right the way up. So now to get the bolt, got the bolt in, it'll rotate it. There we go. Done the same to the bottom, put the spike, put another, uh, so it's got the two washers in the top now, and that one's been taken out. So, yeah. Silly mistake, but sometimes you do make mistakes. I just wanted to show you <laughs> that you, if you make a mistake, you can fix it. So, yeah, just got to do the other one now. So, this is the old one. And this is what we've done to the new one. So now that one could actually go on the other side if I if I have to, because I actually carry spare ones of these in the trailer. But yeah, so that's the difference. So now it's got that extra 
lug on the top compared to that one. So now you can actually put them either side. So the truck is all back together. So got the uprated knuckles on the back, made one of them into a new one. So that's, that's ready to go back in the trailer. So all we got to do now is load something back up. Then we can do the oil change and everything when it's in the trailer. Uh, we're going to load a spare bonnet in because um, I want to drop a spare bonnet off at Santa Pod and that's where we are next for our next show. Um, yeah, so let's get Swamp Thing loaded back in the trailer. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of petrol straight in the top of the supercharger just to help it start. And then it can run straight on the methanol there. That's a nasty bit. That's why we leave this door open to try and blow some air through because once you start getting it into the trailer, the tear gas really starts to bite in. God, that methanol, don't have to make your eyes water. Okay, so Swamp Thing is all back in the trailer. That's gonna be it for this very quick video. Until next time, bye bye.